Good morning, folks. It is Sunday, uh, March 19th. Got a pretty nice day here in Northern California. We've had a, a few, about a couple of weeks now of nice days. Although it's supposed to start raining again next week, this coming week. We'll see what that brings. So anyway, we're starting the next project. Not the Model A. <laughs> this is why street rods take 20 years <coughs> to build. Anyway, the next project, Mom and I have decided we're going to do a few chickens. And I've spent the past week just about getting this area cleared out. Because <coughs> this is where we're going to put the chicken coop and the chicken run. And I'm just getting started. Uh, I spent a little time here. Went to the Home Depot yesterday and bought a few posts. And I've got some old, old material that I'm going to start using I'm, until I use that up. And then I'll go buy whatever else I need. But anyway, like I said, I've been getting this area cleared out. These three tubs were in there. You can imagine what that was like moving. One of them, the two, these two I could empty. That one's there, it's got stuff growing in it, so I couldn't empty that one. Had to do that one full. Um, the blue barrel got moved. There's a bunch of, like, fertilizer tea, I call it, like chicken manure with water. You know, making a tea out of that to fertilize plants in there, so that's why I don't know what that is. 25 gallons, 30 gallons. And a bunch of other stuff that was over there. Anyway, it's all gone now, and we're going to start building. So I'll show you a little bit along the way. Okay, see you later. Bye. Well, there's today's progress. Got the rest of the posts up, and got them all tied together. They're all standing up plumb and braced so that I can build the walls. And they hopefully they'll stay that way. So anyway, we're getting there, a little at a time, using up some old material. The posts are new, but most of the rest of it has been laying around here for a while. <clears throat> the dark stuff was form lumber when I did the, the wall underneath that fence over there. P before we did a garage, I'm going to do a retaining wall over there. Anyway, so much for today. Um... This coming week, there the weather report says it's supposed to rain, so I may not be able to do much out here this week. We'll see. Play it by ear, I guess. I got stuff to do inside too. Got to finish putting that bead blast cabinet together. Uh, run some airlines here in the garage inside the toy box here. I got an empty rental. I need to spend a couple hours doing some repairs there. And, but so like I say, there's plenty to do, <coughs> and that's without even talking about working on the Model A. So we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hi, folks. Well, here we are. It's Sunday afternoon again. I don't know what the date is, 25th, 26th, somewhere in there. It's been about a week, I think, since I uh, showed you anything last. And you can see the toy box has turned into a wood shop again. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, because we're, you know, we're doing that chicken coop thing I, I showed you last week. So I set the chop saw up again. Got the skill saw going. My son was here yesterday. We made a pattern of the first rafter, and he cut some rafters for me. Got some more material there. I'm gonna make doors and stuff out of the, you know, chicken coop doors out of the two by three. Um, I got this extra window over here that uh, the supplier gave me the wrong style window when I was doing the the bathroom update. So I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna make a door on on one side of the chicken coop and put that window in it. I did a drawing. Where is that drawing? Anyway, I did a drawing last night so that I would um, 
have an idea how big to make the opening. Here it is. Did a scale drawing of the of the one side of the building and the door with the window in it. So I worked on it today, most of the day. Luckily, it didn't rain. I don't know if I think it's supposed to rain again tomorrow. But uh, if it does, we'll just go buy some more materials or got other stuff to do. Even if I don't do anything on this, I can work on other stuff. But anyway, uh, here's where we're at with this. So you can see I got that first rafter up there. I bought the two big vents and I'm going to put some other vents. The three openings you see here, these are going to be the nesting boxes. That's where they're going to enter the nesting. The nesting boxes will be here on the outside. And those three 12 inch squares will be the openings from inside the hen house to get into the nesting boxes. This down here on the bottom is going to be a door that opens out towards you towards us so that when you got to clean this out you'll open that door and I'll, I'll park a wheelbarrow here and scoop it all out into the wheelbarrow these are two vents here and here uh, that will work with the upper vents kind of create a flow you know the two vents low I'm just going to cover these with hardware cloth and cut the openings in the plywood so hopefully the air will come in at the lower ones and go out the upper ones you know the, the kind of convection thing this is an opening for the chickens to go in and out I'll have our I'll have a ramp coming towards us here and where we're standing right now will be the run that they'll have to work on to work in you know roam around in and it's going to come out to here that's the end of the run that you're looking at right there so I forgot what that was I want to say it was like 14 feet we're almost I think it might be 13 6 and then the coop is four and a half feet so they got about a total of 18 feet altogether to roam around in by six so you see the slope there I'm gonna make the roof over the run the same as that and I'll put that clear plastic corrugated plastic over the run and probably some dark colored stuff over the hen, over the hen house itself so it's not so light or bright or hot in there but anyway that's where we're at the, at the end of the week gotten that far it rained uh, it rained all of one day I forgot what it was Monday Tuesday something like that and another day I was doing other stuff I think it rained twice so I couldn't be out here but anyway uh, we're making progress actually it's going pretty good so this week I think I'm going to concentrate on extending the uh, the top of the run and hopefully get some rafters up there maybe I can even get some plastic up there but I gotta I gotta put the rafters and then put a bunch of rows of blocks to do the supports for the plastic so that's gonna take a little time I think but anyway we'll get there kind of anxious to make the doors I bought one of those Craig um, fastener things so I can make the doors out of like two by three material and then cover them with the with the plywood. You know, the doors on here will be covered with the plywood. There will be a door in the run that will be covered with the um, hardware cloth. But anyway, that's where we're at after another week. Talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.